Silla, of course, is the young link. Bumblebee putting on the right, rocking the Palutena. This is going to be a bit interesting. I know Young Link can struggle in this matchup with getting in, especially playing at the mid-range, which is typically where Young Link likes to go. But against a character like Palutena, perhaps the best mid-range character in the game, might see a bit of difficulty if he gets caught in some of these explosive flames. Scylla is going to start with a slight percentage lead off of that up throw, but aims the boomerang the wrong way, and that is not safe. So we have to see if he learns that, if he does that on shield a couple of times as well as what Bumblebee putting shield habits are going to be in the first place. Good forward smash. Of course, that's probably not going to work too many times, but it is a sign that he is willing to go for a few braver options that might dissuade Bumblebee from doing a few more riskier things himself. Great fair, a raw fair as well. Didn't even convert off of a bomb or anything, and Scylla is going to take the first stock, only 81% down. Air dodges away, but Bumblebee is able to make it back. That teleport recovery is very high. Although he does land straight into Young Link's up smash. Scylla has to be very careful here now. Good Nair on top of the platform that applies a lot of pressure. The short range explosive flame as well might be a bit more useful than its long range counterpart. Especially seeing as Young Link will like to get in as soon as he throws a projectile. And some lesser experienced Young Links might just rush in regardless of whether it connects or not. Although right now it's Scylla who's doing a good job of playing around Bumblebee Pudding's zones and walls. Waits out the counter and the down tilt into the hero spin will take that second stock. Scylla is 3-1 up and absolutely steamrolling Bumblebee at the moment. Charged up the forward smash, tried to win box the bomb away, but Scylla caught onto that at the very last moment and managed to make his escape. Z dropped the bomb now and lands with an air, so he's gonna be safe. Did not get the forward smash he wanted though, and that will put him straight into Palutena's Grab and Rage. Among the best in the game, and that call out with the up smash will finally take the first stock. Pudding is on the board. Gonna have to see how he does the rest of this game now. Good counter off of the up smash. He knew that was what Scylla did at least once before, and will be willing to do it again. But the grounded hero spin into the aerial hero spin from Scylla. Not entirely true. The up air would have been true, but. It's very close, and you need almost perfect DI to avoid it at that percent. Throws the bomb. You know, Pudding is going to land with an air. Gets around that F tilt and that up smash. It does do three consecutive hits. You have to time it almost perfectly if you want to land in between them. Otherwise, it's probably best to do the safe option and land after all three have swung. He did dip above the platform with that teleport, so that could have been exposed by Silo, but does not, and finally falls into that explosive flame, and that up smash! The second stock taken with the up smash for Pudding, and now all of a sudden he has a window back into this game. Nair through the platform, not the fair, it's not connecting, that down air. It was a bit telegraphed, it came from a few inches away, but Pudding did, did have time to react, and unfortunately committed too hard with a short hop. That's going to be game one for Scylla. on to perhaps a different stage for game two. Uh, we might see FD, I'd imagine that would be the pick. Palutena isn't a character with necessarily a bad stage. She does favor some over others, but she doesn't have a best stage to the point where it it's useful to go there no matter what the opponent does. Pudding is gonna make the switch to Zelda. So a different kind of zoner on offer here. Young Link against Zelda, two Characters from the same franchise, of course. Gonna have to see how Pudding does with some of these phantoms, and he will have to play an entirely different mid-range game. Here, gets an early lightning kick, but the counter is gonna be weighted out by Scylla. Is on the shield, and good down air into that second hit of the F-Smash. He's enjoying about a 20% lead right now. Counter. Tech's in place, so Scylla will have a route back in if he wants to go with it. Perhaps a grounded arrow or a short hop arrow. Got in with the down tilt into the F air, and now Scylla really has the window wide open. 
pudding has to be careful if Scylla isn't in the air. If he's already just sent an arrow out, that might be the best time to start charging a phantom. Or when you already have him off stage, Koch is the roll with the F smash. And that is a regrab. Scylla has to be careful and just wall jumps right into the phantom. Bumblebee pudding is going to take stock one and now can capitalize. Teleports back onto the stage, but lands with the second hit of the back air. Gets through and waits out the hero spin as well, but didn't time the projectile well enough. Has the bomb pulled, but teleports back safely. Skips the ledge entirely. Lightning kick into the back air, and Scylla, one arrow. Is he going to be back on stage? No, he's going to be siphoned back off with the back throw. Bumblebee putting it so far with Zelda has opted to skip the ledge a lot more than he had with Pelotana as the two characters do have similar teleport recoveries, although he closes a second stock with that Phantom, aided by the Rage a bit there to get the percent in the first place, but even so, good spot dodging to up smash, and now all of a sudden we have a game once again. Scylla looking to show game one wasn't a fluke, and the character pick isn't phasing him, but right now it's been putting that's been able to put on the pressure. One fair just teleports to get out of it, but left himself vulnerable for a bit. Now a small exchange will leave him in for after grab. Regrabs his own bomb. Another fair will put him off stage. Gets the arrow, although he didn't have a bomb in hand, so he couldn't go for the hero spin risk to seal it out at only 75%. Had to make it safely back to stage. The back throw will send him back off stage. That down air is not safe on shield. It's out the Phantom. I like the restraint from Scylla, though, to hold back after only one hit of F Smash. And once again, Pudding is showing that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Teleporting back on stage if they're going to go unpunished by Scylla. But speaking of punishes, that F Smash will come in. And about 80% Scylla is entirely still in this. Going to get sent back off stage with that projectile, but down tilt in the fair. It is true at low percents. Again, he teleports right back in his position. Scylla could just get a bit more patient. Hold shield rolls around the F-Smash. That could have been really bad for him. And now he's tethering back as well. That's going to be a good way to avoid some of these. Get a back throw. And again, he's waiting it out now. Now that he knows he likes this onstage teleport, finally has the patience to just sit there and go for either a grounded hero spin or a grab. Another down tilt. He's out of fair range, though. Floating back down and catches him with an air. Another down smash. Did have the jump, so will be able to vary that recovery a little bit, but this is very testy, and Bumblebee has to be very cautious when he doesn't have a bomb in hand. Gets him falling in and air dodges right into the F smash. Bumblebee putting played so well up until that point in that second game, it looked like the character switch was working out, but Scylla just caught on to his habits just in time, and not a moment too soon. He's going to be moving on to round two. Uh, it looks